Hey guys, it's Rudy Kalen again. I just finished another Splitdorf uh, Aero Dixie type uh, magneto for John Deere two cylinder. It's going on a, a, a D and uh, I restored it for a, a, a really good customer of mine. And I've got it on the tester and I tested it and it works great and I thought I'd show it to you guys. And rather than just, uh, you know, showing you the mag and how well it sparks and, and, and everything. Um, I thought I'd talk about uh, um, two-cylinder mags, two-cylinder and four-cylinder, actually, because the, uh, the split door uh, for the John Deere is actually a four-cylinder magneto. Uh, but, uh, and I'll show you in a little bit, uh, two of the sparks are grounded. They're grounded internally in the cap. Um, and there's a lot of different types of two-cylinder mags that are built on a four-cylinder uh, magneto housing. Uh, the Bosch uh, 4 slash 2, um, there's many of those out there for Rumley, um, for a lot of different two-cylinder, either as a sequential fire or an opposed. Um, they're, they 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 run a, a a number of things. You've uh, you I'm sure you've seen them, and they they have like a four slash two and either a three sixty or a one eighty on it, depending on uh, uh, how they fire. And I'll explain that in a little bit. I've got some mags on the bench here that I'll be showing you, and I'll show you the differences between the the different types of two cylinder mags that are uh, like I said built on a four cylinder. Uh, magneto housing, M many of those around, and and uh, I think it's worth an, an explanation. So, if you want to uh, learn something about uh, magnetos and how they fire and how they're built, uh, uh, stick around. I'll uh, I'll show you some examples on my bench. My bench is like totally totally messy right now because I have been I have been super duper swamped. Uh, actually have another uh, Dixie or four or two cylinder uh, John Deere um, uh, split dwarf coming up that um, actually that one's not going to be restored. He wants it looking original, but he wants it working perfectly. So that's what I'll be doing with that one. But uh, let me let me flip the camera around. I'll show you what's on the bench here. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about um, uh, what makes uh, uh, an opposed uh, two cylinder or uh, uh, or an even fire two cylinder and how they're um, you know how, how they work on a, on a four cylinder uh, magneto so uh, let me flip the camera around and we'll start talking about that okay guys here we are back uh, here's that uh, that John Deere uh, split dwarf uh, Aero Dixie two four six C. That's the the C is uh, the brass enclosure magneto. And there it is restored. Works great. I'll be showing you that real soon. But uh, let me show you what else I got here. There's uh, there's a number of mags on my bench. Um, the the one right over here is a, a four cylinder, and uh, and they're they're very similar to the two, except for one thing. Here's the here's the cap for the four cylinder. Notice the four um, spark plug leads or terminals. Um, as the as the rotor turns, it sends spark to these four brass or I'm sorry uh, carbon contacts in here and sends uh, sends the spark through the wires. So uh, pretty pretty basic information there. I'm sure you guys all knew that. Well, now here's a here's a two cylinder John Deere uh, cap. There's only two leads on this one, but if you look at the inside, well, there's four carbon brushes, and uh, really only the the top two fire because that's where the uh, spark plug leads are, and uh, the two down here, um, as the rotor turns, it will fire on these two as well, but. If you if you check this out right here, there's a little a little exposed metal um, terminal here that 
actually is is right up against the uh, the housing so the spark that comes off of these two will just go to ground so this is actually a four cylinder design where two of them are two of the sparks are grounded so pretty uh pretty cool huh now uh a lot of the american bosch are the same they do the same thing here's a four cylinder right here and as the rotor turns all four fire now here's a here's a a, a, a two cylinder that i just finished and this one is a uh, it it's the bosch four slash two 360 and uh, let's let's see if I can zoom in on that Oh, there it is see the see the 360 right there Bosch du4 slash 2 360 so what that 360 means is as the uh, The main rotor shaft is turning it only fires once in 360 degrees of revolution and then it uh, it 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 goes around one more time 360 and then it fires on the second one first second and it just goes back and forth like this the re the, the way that happens is inside here there's a cam ring and the cam ring um here let me see if i can take it off has only one one lobe see the this will open the points and then it'll stay open until it comes around again so 360 degrees of revolution it only opens once so that's that's how the the as the rotor turns you know the rotors half speed so the rotor actually only turns 180 degrees till the next one as the rotor or the magnetic uh, i'm sorry the inductor uh, only, uh turns 360 degrees the rotor turns 180 so just the 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 number on there the 360 always refers to the um the main rotor shaft uh, you know how it how it turns whoops okay i'll put this on later <laughs> and uh um and then it's uh, really the same with the the the, the two cylinder here this happens to be a two cylinder off of a, a rumley you can tell by the mounting plate here and as that rotor turns um this one is a four slash two 180 because the rotor only has to turn 180 degrees before the next spark. So here we'll, we'll take a look at that too because it'll say it'll say 180 on there. Yep, there it is. Four slash two and 180 degrees see it right there so this is the this is the sequential fire two-cylinder mag for a rumley it would uh, it would actually run a a, a john deere but uh, this one is clockwise rotating so um, and then the john deeres of course are counterclockwise counterclockwise unless you're talking about a like a, a a split dwarf mag for say like a waterloo boy those are two cylinder but they rotate clockwise so so there's the there's the difference between the two and four cylinder two cylinder four cylinder different on the outside pretty much the same on the inside these two are grounded None of these are grounded. There is one other type of a, a two-cylinder cap, and uh, that's where the uh, the the spark plug terminals are are kind of kind of kitty corner. Those are the uh, that would be the 360 
cap and and they're they're quite rare um they went on like um i believe eagle tractors used those um and there may be some others i'm not sure if it's if the moline um what is it the i think moline made it a, a two cylinder that uh that fired like that but uh not 100 percent sure so anyways there's uh there's four cylinder that just of course fires every time it uh the the rotor hits one of these plug leads none of these are grounded they all send spark to the to the spark plugs and then here's the here's the john deere dixie uh aero dixie 246c and uh, i'll get that fired up so you guys can uh, kind of watch it uh, do its thing it fires and and uh, um, sparks very well That was a nice mag. It uh, it sure looks good and sparks great. My customer will be very happy. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll try to put more content up as uh, as I find something to to talk about. I'd like to get better at this. I apologize. I I'm not the best at uh, these videos but uh, there's guys out there that are way better than I am but I, I want to get some content out there and and uh, hopefully uh, uh, pass on some information that you guys can use so if you have anything that you're curious about just uh, just let me know I'll try to get a video on it and because uh, I'm going to try to get more and more of these things going so but I appreciate you watching um, if you have, uh, uh, like I said, any questions, uh, feel free to call. Um, I'm uh, as close as your phone. Uh, my website is uh, uh, www.rebuiltmags.com, uh, rebuiltmags.com on Facebook, and Rebuilt Mags here on, uh, on YouTube. I appreciate you watching and uh, um, hope to see you soon. Um, well, another quick note, I've already started working on that other uh, um, John Deere uh, Splitdorf mag. I'll get the camera turned around before I I, uh, I stop this video and, and show you a little, little shot of my bench with that mag kind of uh, apart and ready to ready to rebuild, get it uh, get it working for him and, and get it back uh, uh, and get his tractor running. So. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.